Hey folks, here with a quick Logic Pro 10 uh, tutorial. Uh, today we're going to be talking about flex time. Now this is just one uh, specific example, but um, it can be applied to you know many different uses for this feature within Logic. So as you can see, I have an audio file pulled up. All I have to do is uh, click this flex time logo, and you'll see this pop-down menu uh, appears. We'll want to uh, Click on that and make sure that we are on flex time polyphonic. So go ahead and select that. And it's going to analyze that, apply the analy analysis, and you'll see that there are all these little uh, markers uh, for different sections of the song, and that helps inform the that helps inform on uh, how the uh, the waveforms are expanded or or shrunk within this flex time feature. So if we want to just slow down the whole song, all you have to do is uh, grab this at the end, select, and drag it out. Uh, so I'll Command Z real quick and give you a, uh, a sample of what the song sounds like in its original state. So that's again in, in its original state. If we want to make it a little uh, slow it down, grab it, shift it like that. I'll give you a preview there. So that gives you kind of an idea of, of what it sounds like to slow it down. Now it is somewhat destructive, so you can't slow an audio file down too much without losing you know, a, a good quality. Um, what command Z, you can also speed it up again. So I'll give you, an, uh, once again, a taste of the original file. And we, uh, we pull this file back to speed it up. And we can speed it up even more. So that's really quickly in a nutshell how to use flex time in Logic Pro 10. Um, you can use this to uh, for many different effects within your compositions or uh, remixes, mashups, that sort of thing. If you want to see a specific tutorial, uh, drop me a comment in the section below. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks.